overeating, no exercise, and my confidence was zero on the floor. I was literally, it was late night snacking as well as my massive wall. I would go home, have tea, put my plate in the dishwasher, make a piece of bread and butter for that reason. I've got no idea, no idea. Or like split shifts, instead of going to the gym, pool that I have access to for free, I would go to McDonald's and bargains and buy junk, loads of it, and just eat it in my car, go to work, pretend like I'd had a really nice day. I have even just been sitting in the car park eating crap. I had no energy, heartburn, bloated, lethargic, and it made me feel good for about 10 minutes. And then in my head, I'd be like, why am I just eating all that? For what reason? I just couldn't tell myself why. I was this really happy person that came across? It was like a persona kind of an act. But inside I was just so confident in myself. And I would wear these big baggy clothes and just try and cover it all, but I was so unhappy. I went away with my friends to Barcelona and we went to watch Coldplay and we got drunk obviously and then I just became a mess by crying and um they and um, they said it's because you're not happy. Because I was telling them I wasn't happy about my size and stuff. And I think after that it just clicked in my head. But I didn't message you guys straight away. I was looking at your Facebook for about a month. I just didn't have the courage to come to a gym and say I need help. That's why I needed. I was so scared. Like I imagined loads of buff men intimidating men, but it was the complete opposite. They were really welcoming, um, really inviting. I felt comfortable straight away. As soon as I walked in, I felt really comfortable. Um, had a meeting with George, signed up straight away, and I was in camp this day. Oh, I was so scared. I sat in my car about six o'clock, and I told myself, I'm not going, I'm not going. I'll go tomorrow. I used to say that to myself all the time. I'll go on Monday. I'll start again on Monday. And I thought, no, you're gonna go. You're gonna do it. I walked in and I, Andy really welcomed me. Uh, simplified the exercise if I couldn't do them. And it, all the guys in there made me feel at home. We were chatting before it started. So I settled in straight away. I literally cut out bread. That was my massive one. Bread, loads of carbs, I used to eat carbs constantly. And with the support of George, he helped me with the things to eat. I was just really strict with myself and it made me feel like I was better. I had so much more energy thinking I was only eating like, I cut down carbs thinking I was gonna have no energy because carbs would give you energy or give me. And but I had so much more energy, I had no heartburn, no bloatedness, that gone. And my energy was through the roof. Like the, once I seen the first progress, you know, the first time the scales I'd lost, I just thought, I can do it. Because like, I've tried to lose weight in the past and I've never been able to do it. And then just come into camp and then I could see myself progressing like I could never do a burpee. I'd do it on a bench when I first started. Now I can do a proper burpee. Um, and it's just little things that I can see myself progressing in. Like, and it's not, it's little small steps, but it's a step forward, not backwards. It was, when I look back on pictures from two years ago, I looked horrendous. But now I look back now, I don't look that bad. And I just think that's amazing. And I would never have had the bottle to book a trip I've just done. Like when I said to you, I'm going to book India after the seminar. And I did book it. And I went, I had the best time, I met amazing people. I felt super confident, I wasn't shy. Before plane seat, seat belt was so tight, and now I could actually adjust the belt, which might not sound much but to me at the lot. Like, I thought I was gonna have to go to the point of asking for an extendable belt to attach to it, but no, I don't anymore. 
and I feel comfortable. I think the weight loss, but my confidence, people in work are just singing praises about me. Like they all tell me how amazing I look and I had this massive baggy t-shirt and it was old, it was thin and it was huge on me and everyone was saying just please get rid of this t-shirt and I was so comfortable in it and I just couldn't get rid of it until two weeks ago and now I'm in a small t-shirt, it's more fitted and everyone, even members of the public have said how amazing I look in it and I didn't think that would happen before because I was so comfortable in this horrible t-shirt. I didn't have the confidence to wear a fitted top. So. And I was buying plus size clothes at one point. Not anymore. I can fit into Primark, um, River Island stuff. I was having to buy. Go online shopping because I didn't want to go into the shops and go into the plus size section because I felt embarrassed. But no, I'm happy. I've dropped two dress sizes. No, in six months. So I'm happy with that. It's not too extreme either, so. Yeah. But I feel so happy at the moment. My goal is you have a Christmas ball. Yeah. I want to win one of them things at Christmas that is it like an achiever. I want to win one of them. That's my goal. Biggest transformation. That's the one. Biggest transformation. I know it's like a big goal, but I'm going to try. You know? I've got six months. So hopefully, I want to do Dude, that's stuff we need. You are, you are so good. Thanks. You're like super calm on camera. Yeah, I did think it was. Yeah? Huh. Yeah? Like that's a... Look at this volume. <laughs> Look at this volume. Rob King would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're really good. You're really good. Thanks.